Welcome to Money Fit Live this week. The topic is the tax refund pyramid. We're going to talk about five smart things you can do with your tax refund. Now, this is not just the tax refund. This could be any kind of lump uh, payment you receive, perhaps a stimulus check uh, like we've had in the past, an inheritance, anything unexpected, a gift perhaps. Five things that you can do. These are the smart things. You don't have to do all five of them. It's going to be up to you, but these are things you should consider. Option number one, take 30% of that, pay, of that uh, payment, that refund, and put it toward your needs. This is the biggest part of the pyramid. This could be something if you got medical expenses, perhaps you had a car uh, that needs repairing or it was in an accident. Maybe there's an appliance that you need to fix. Look for needs that you can care for. Your basic physical survival needs and emotional needs are important. So that's why it takes up the biggest chunk of your tax pyramid. Option two, look at your debts. Because debts tend to have much higher interest rates than anything else you can invest or save, you want to put a bigger chunk toward your debts. So whether that's credit cards, payday loans, collection accounts, or even mortgage or car loan, take 25%, get rid of it. Some people might argue, some financial uh, experts might say, well, you don't ever want to get rid of your mortgage. Listen, I can understand the financial aspect of that. The, on paper, it's true. You can earn much more in the on stock markets over time than you can uh, pay, than you would pay on a mortgage. But the idea of being debt-free uh, and, the, and the liberty that gives you in your life is invaluable to a lot of people, something to consider. Okay, the option number three, 20% put into your savings. If you've got an emergency savings account, great. Don't worry about it already. Otherwise, take 20% of that tax refund, put it in your emergency savings fund. You might think, yeah, but it's only a hundred bucks. It's only $500. It's only a thousand dollars. It's not going to be that big of a deal. It is. You've got to start somewhere. Savings is not an amount. Savings is simply a commitment that you are going to take care of your future self in case of an emergency. So whatever it adds up to, take 20% and put it into an emergency savings fund. Ideally, you want to put it somewhere you're not going to raid. Perhaps it's at a savings account in a credit union or a bank. That's not where you keep your checking and don't connect the two. So uh, it might be even an online savings account, somewhere where it's not easy to get to. It might take a day or two to get to it, but You'll, you can get to it in an emergency. Okay, so that's savings, 20%. Then the next option, option four, 15%. Go ahead and put it toward your, your long-term future. This could be into your 401k or 403b or your thrift savings plan if you're in the military. It could go toward an individual retirement account. Maybe you're uh, looking at purchasing a home in the next four or five, six years. Something that's beyond just two or three or four years. Uh, this would be something that will take care of you long term. It could be securities like stocks, um, uh, mutual funds, or, or exchange traded funds. Uh, probably not bonds, but these are. This is something you can do. Fifteen percent into your long term, and then option number five, which it's the smallest, but believe me, this cap to your tax pyramid is the most important. You've got to have some fun. 10%, go ahead, have some fun with it. You can enjoy it, whatever it is that brings you joy, whether it is something with family or friends or whether it's something for yourself, it could be an experience, it could be a product, it could be a service, whatever it is that you can enjoy and say, okay, I was responsible with 90% of that tax refund. I enjoyed the 10%. Next time you get something like that, you'll be just even more likely to be responsible with the other 90%. Give yourself permission to enjoy that, uh, that small, small purchase or small expense. That's it. Here's the recap. From 30% on the very bottom, that's for taking care of your needs. 25% for your debts. 20% short-term savings. 15% is long-term investments. And that 10% having fun with. 
If there's anything we can do, if answer questions or provide some more information, find us at moneyfit.org. You can see more of our MoneyFit Live webinars at moneyfit.org slash live. We put new ones up there all the time or offer live webinars each week. My name is Todd Christensen, Education Manager at MoneyFit, author of Everyday Money for Everyday People and 50 Plus on Fire. Thank you so much for joining me.